Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's so nice to see you. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. I am starting my weekend off on a Friday. Very excited. And I'm just about to leave to go to Jane's. And we are going to have a little bit of a shopping morning in town. So I'm going to head over there just now. I would like to address, though, <laughs> the end of my last video, I told you guys that I was close to having 200 subscribers. You guys, I'm there now. I'm there. I've got 200. I'm so excited. <laughs> so hopefully my little YouTube family will continue to grow. I love seeing the numbers grow and having you guys all with me. It does really help with the homesickness that I have sometimes, which was quite substantial over 4th of July. I was very homesick that day. That is usually one of my favorite holidays back in the States. And I haven't had a 4th of July like celebration in the States in seven years because the last one was right before I moved here. So I do miss it. One of these days I'll go back for a 4th. One of these days. But anyway, I hope you all in the States who are my subscribers had a wonderful 4th. And... I need to get going because I'm already going to be late. Ooh. So, I'm just
shopping journey at 10 a.m. It is now 4.20 in the afternoon. And it has been such a glorious day. I was a little nervous about my outfit today because, you know, I got like straps. This is very thin. And I've got my sandals on. And I was a little nervous this morning when I walked outside, but I was like, no, Alexis, be brave. Don't bring a jacket. We said it's gonna be warm. We're gonna trust that it's gonna be warm. And you know what? It was a beautiful, warm day. Like, Jane was suffering. She was like sweating and just like, Ugh. I was just thriving, you know? So that was good. But when you're doing several stops and then going in and out of the car, the car was getting kind of warm, like on the inside, you know? And I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't felt this in like a long time. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a quick haul for you of what we got. Um, and then I still need to do my exercises today because I was supposed to do it today, but you know, us starting early this morning. I haven't done them yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the exercises and then we're gonna cook dinner. So first, a haul. So we did do like a food shop today. But I will start with, so our first stop was Primark. And if you've ever been in Primark, you know how amazing it is. And if you haven't been to Primark, well, you need to go. Come over here, come and travel to the UK just so you can go in there because it's pretty fantastic. Um, and I personally didn't buy anything, but Jane gifted me with some hand towels. Oh, come on. All right. I got some hand towels, so I got this color and black. Um, I got two of each and then she also got me this little basket to put in our downstairs bathroom to hold my hand towels. So that's really exciting and like Primark is like known for you know cheap stuff. Well not right. Known for their things being affordable. How about that? <laughs> um, so the basket was $3.50 and then each towel was $2.50 for the towels. And like this is the size $2.50 for a hand towel. That's not bad at all. And they're nice and soft. Like there were some other ones that were more, as Jane would say, dear, which means expensive. There were some that were like four pounds for the towel. But I think these are not bad. So. That was my little Primark haul, but I was like going around, like looking at things like for future shops, you know, like what am I gonna get? And you know, they had some furniture there that I was like, ooh, maybe I can make some of that work for like new bedside tables and stuff. <gasps> but yes, so this was Primark. Jane also gifted me two bunches of, was it bunch? Do you call them a bunch? I think it's a bunch whatever, eucalyptus, which was at Tesco and it was reduced. So it was, they normally sell it for three pounds, but she got it for 150. And what I'm gonna do with this, right? Because it just smells amazing, you know, just very spa-like, right? So I saw this actually from another YouTuber. I'm gonna take them and I'm going to tie it around my shower head. And I'll show you when I do it. I'm gonna tie it around the shower head and then like it lasts for like weeks, you know? And then every time you take a shower, it's just like this wonderful aroma and it's just very relaxing spa-like, she said. So I'm gonna give that a go and hopefully we like it. And if that's a thing, then I'm gonna to continue to do this because, you know, for one pound 50 or three pounds, to be honest, if it was three pounds, I still would have done it because I know it, it's not like a one-time use thing. So, thanks, Jane. Into Spice of Asia. Ooh. And we got some essentials here, right? So, first, first things first, I got some more yucca. Now, this is yucca. If you've never seen it before, this is what it looks like. If you get it in its like natural form, it is a bitch to deal with, like peeling it, prepping it, whatever, getting to like the actual goodness. <sighs> you know, it's just not worth it. But they sell it pre-done, frozen. Huh. So all you do, squirt it with some, uh, my zero calorie oil spray, right? Squirt it all around, toss it, air fryer, 30 minutes. Oh, you get like the best, 
the best fries out of it. It's like crunchy on the outside, it's fluffy on the inside, and it is just fantastic. And bonus, zero points on Weight Watchers. So I've made that before for Craig's family, and his dad, Cameron, has now requested that that is something that's added to their Christmas Day dinner. So I'm slowly seeping in over here. Right, then I bought some plantains. You gotta have the plantains, right? And I also bought garlic paste. You gotta have, right, the pina mix. Gotta have your pinas. I got three of these. So got one, two, three of those. And then the holy grail. Are you ready for it? This is the seasoning. It even says the perfect seasoning because you know what? It is the perfect seasoning. And it's fantastic. And every like you can only get Goya stuff at Spice of Asia in Aberdeen. Okay, I don't know about anywhere else in the UK, but in Aberdeen, it's in Spice of Asia, right? And you know, this particular one, this specific one, isn't always there. Like the last time I went, the last time I went, it was in this size. They didn't have the big one, they only had this one. I was so annoyed. And they only had one, so I took it, obviously. And then, but today, they had the big size, so I bought it. But did I buy one? No, I bought two. And it was freaking expensive. Two of these was 12 pounds. It was $5.99 each, but you know what? I just did it, I did it because it is the best freaking seasoning ever. I put it on everything. So then after Spice of Asia, we went to the butcher. I had already done my butcher shop uh, for an entire month worth of meat. So I was just kind of hanging out with Jane for that. But she gifted me two, they're like, they're square burgers and they're, what did she say? Maple syrup and something burgers. So she gifted us that. Mm -hmm. And she also bought, because every time she goes to Sainsbury's, she always gets me a, a can of my chicken breast in a can because you can only get it at Sainsbury's. So Mm -hmm. Again, thanks Jane. So that's that. Then we went to Aldi and I did my food shop. Ooh. We got some essentials, you know, like milk. Gotta have milk. Stuff for Craig's lunches, you know, his faves, which you guys have seen plenty, plenty of times, I'm sure. But I did treat him today to some Rainbow lollies. So if you guys don't know, a lolly is like a popsicle, right? And they're, they're usually called like an iced lolly. So he usually likes the fruity stuff where I'm more of like a chocolate kind of a person. And we already have some chocolate ones here. So I thought I'd treat him to some rainbow lollies because I know he is melting outside today because it's what they say as roasting. So yeah, but I got some sausage rolls for his lunches as well. Now I normally get him cheese coleslaw because he likes the cheesy coleslaw. But you know what, they didn't have it. There's a lot of stuff they didn't have in the store today and it made me really sad. But I got some creamy coleslaw, so hopefully that'll be enough. <laughs> um, chopped pork for his sandwiches. And then I got some mints. They call it mince, they don't call it ground beef, it's mince. Um, and I got that because I'm going to try a recipe that I've never tried before, and it's not gonna be today, but I'm gonna try and make pastelon. Pause. Right, sorry guys, Craig's on his way home. Right, finishing the haul, right. Ah, next said Aldi is the veg. So I got my peppers. Now here's something about the stores out here, right? When you go to the grocery store and you're like, oh, I wanna get some fruit and vegetables, asparagus, 
for tonight's dinner. You'll see. You know, you're like, oh, okay, I'll go. Everything is pre-packaged like this. There isn't like a mound of apples and you just like pick the ones you like. You don't pick the peppers you like. You don't pick the mangoes you like. No, it's all pre-packaged. So most of the time, you're just like, you get something where it's like, not all of them are great, but you just kind of have to go with it because everything is done like that. Like I miss being able to go and pick out the tomatoes that I want, but no. You gotta do it this way. And it's just, and like avocados. And these are, look at how little they are. Yeah, look at how little. But whatever. Alexis, we're gonna be happy about it. Lettuce, because my girl Ashley, hi Ashley. She told me to make a, how did you, a grilled, a grilled wedge salad. How amazing did that sound? So, you know, I'm gonna give it a try. So, lettuce for that. And a pineapple. Luckily, when it comes to melons and stuff like this, you can pick the one that you want. It's not prepackaged. But, everything else, oh, annoying. And everything, you guys, everything is so expensive. Now, I know that's like happening around the world right now, but, oof, I mean, I luckily, how much was this shot today? I spent 36 pounds on this shot today. I'll show you the rest of it. Um, eggs, I always get the 15 pack and I go through 15 eggs every week. I probably would go through more, but I try and limit myself to just the one container every week. Crisps for his sandwiches. So we got cheese and onion, good one. And I also got him these ones. They're mini cheese bakes, which are like super yummy if you've never had them. They're like, they're kind of like Cheez-Its. It's kind of in that same family, right? Kit Kats for his lunches. Now, biscuits, things like this. So freaking expensive. This was the cheapest one at 99p. But no, everything else is just like over a pound, close to two pounds for freaking biscuits. Ugh. Anyway, ibuprofen, paracetamol, gotta have. Gotta have. Um, for those of you who don't know, paracetamol, it's like Advil, Tylenol, kind of thing. Aspirin. Thins for his lunches. Got two packs of that. Did I? Oh, I did. Got the other one. Um, of course, the Krolls. Gotta have the Krolls. Um, I got some lemon juice because Craig yesterday was saying he wanted some lemon drop martinis. So, this is so much easier than juicing 20 million lemons for a lemon drop martini. Um, Abernathy's. Great for cups of tea. If you haven't had it, you should. If you know, you know. This is one of my mom's new faves from her last visit. Deodorant for Craig. Right. Dish soap. Over here. Nobody calls it dish soap. When you say, oh, I want some dish soap, they're like, what do you mean? You have to say, washing up liquid. That's what it is. Washing up liquid is this. But if you say washing powder, that's not for dishes. It's for your clothes. Yeah. So you got washing up liquid for your dishes and washing up powder for your clothes. Yeah. And conditioner? Yeah, they say conditioner for your hair, but it's also for your clothes, like like your fabric softener. A little liquidy stuff, that's conditioner for your clothes. I know. And last but not least, we got black beans, because they now sell them at Aldi, you guys. <laughs> for those of you who know, when I first moved here, couldn't find black beans in any store, except Spice of Asia. 
And now, I think because I kept asking about it in all the stores, they're now like, oh, maybe she had some black beans. Right, I'm gonna put this all away, and then I'm gonna start cooking because Craig is coming home, and he said he was so busy today, he didn't stop, and he didn't have his lunch, so he's starving. And we are going to make, so I bought some lemon sole. It's a fish, if you don't know. And I'm going to make a pasta with lemon sole and some asparagus. That's my idea. So I'm thinking I'm going to chop up the aspar asparagus, cook it, right? And I think I'm going to do like a lemon garlic parmesan situation. And then I'm going to pan sear the fish, put it with spaghetti and my sauce that I haven't figured out how I'm going to make yet. I'm wondering if I should do it like a carbonara. I don't know. What if I did it like a carbonara, you guys? That would be interesting. Should I do it? Right, we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out together, but I need to put this away and get started because I don't want to deal with hangry Craig. <laughs> okay guys, so here's my lemon sole. I went to, for the very first time ever, a fish monger. And I gotta say, it was expensive and I probably won't go again. But we'll see how it tastes. <laughs> um, and to be honest, this meal I'm making is super random. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm making it up as I go, but we're just gonna go with it. Cause I was like, I've never made lemon sole, but I thought, let's do something a little different, right? And, um, you know, when you're trying to be on a budget, this was not the best idea. But I did it, and we're going to make the best of it. The most of it. Whatever. I don't know. So let's see what's going on here. Now, the lady assured me that there is no bones in here, and the bitch better have not lied to me. Because I'm not about bones. Well, how in the hell? Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> We're good. Now, I don't think this is going to take long to cook at all. So maybe I need to start my pasta first. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have it with some spaghetti. And I never know how to measure out the amount of spaghetti that I need. So we're just going to roll with it. Right. It's not going to be like a carbonara because this is all the Parmesan I have. So we're going to figure this out without that. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I just realized I haven't pointed this from a Weight Watchers. So I have an empty bowl that we're going to weigh. And then we're going to zero it out. And then we're going to Swap it. 13 grams of Parmesan. Asparagus is free. Love it. Track food. Done. Okay. I'm doing really well so far. I'm happy. Ooh, they're like angled kind of funny. All right. So there is my Parmesan. We're going to zero you out. Now, what I think I'll do is I'll add some lemon juice and some garlic and... Maybe some, what do you think? Maybe like oregano? Would oregano go well with soul? Genuine 
just trial. Cheese mixture. Pop that in there. I trust. Do you trust? 100%. Thank you for trusting. All right, I have a feeling this is gonna be kind of a bland meal, Craig. You gotta tell me how it tastes. Be honest. You need to show us. Well, I tried to make it not super saucy because it's not Not trying to make carbonara. Yeah. I thought those were your mark. But well, <laughs> but to be fair, I did have enough. I did, was gonna make it like carbonara, wasn't I, guys? Wasn't I? But I only had a little bit of parmesan. I didn't have enough parmesan. Yeah. All right. All right, we're gonna eat. I'm eating it. All right, guys. So it's the next morning. I had a lovely like slow morning. Look at how my hair turned out. I'm very happy with it. Um, we are on our way to Echt, Echt show. So I'll show you guys around that and you guys get to see what happens in the summertime in Scotland. Craig, yes. explain what Echt show is. It's an articultural show. So there's livestock here, sheep, horses, cattle, maybe a dog show. Uh, and there's vendors for tractors and farm implements and that type of stuff. And, and there's Highland Games. And Highland Games at the end. Right, so we're going to go look around. I'm sweating the sun cream off my heat. Well, to just like walk amongst the beasts. Uh huh. Is it just so that we can see who won and stuff? Well, these are this is where they get ready for. When they've already been shown. They've won their prizes mm. this morning. Uh huh. You can come in and see, speak to the, the the farmers. My dad knows some of them quite well. Blah blah blah. <laughs> blah blah blah. All right. <laughs> it's kind of scary. A cow just charged at Cameron. <laughs> oh, Highland dancing.
set the hub down. We've got the neck there. Put your lips in the open up the neck and then you go on the back down. I feel the vibrations more and then I will be going to put the boot on the ground. So, um, that made my boot open stand number two. So, my bottom shield is coming on. I'm doing the difficult sometimes to adjust the parties. Put the shield in the back face, so the back face all the time. Use the horns. Not to use here, but to make it up the way if you want. You know, it's very cheap at the time, so it's not so bad. You can come out with it, you can bring it away as well. It's a good place to get so I used to finish it off. Now, we've got to get to the next few years now. We've got to get to the next few years now. I wish there was a few silly Jerry on here. That would have been great. That's what I was out for the day with me. In jeans and fucking t-shirt. One piece of t-shirt. Watch that bastard. Don't act like you're not living it. Alexis, this is Jimmy Dick. This is Jimmy Dick. This is Alexis. This is Jimmy Dick. This is Jimmy Dick. He's a neighbor of ours. He lives just up the road. So where in America are you from? California. California. So what brought you over here? Oh, I'm just doing a show. Oh, you made him and came out, did you? Oh, you made Gee, boys. Uh, good, yeah. good for you. Craig Sinkler's just come out with retirement for this special event today. <laughs> He's a past winner down at Creef. So we, we do have a bit of a competition here. There's Craig Sinkler on the cross the caber. First time he's touched it in four years.
Two very proud people right now because <laughs> Craig has just thrown amazingly after having what do you think how many pints? Seven or eight. He had about seven or eight pints of cider, right? He's got no equipment really. He's doing this in jeans and his work boots. And he is just throwing very well without any practice. He hasn't touched most of this equipment in about four years. So he's doing well. We'll wait and see. The other guy has one more throw and then we'll see who won. It might be the other guy because he has the boots, which gives you a bit more leverage, but we'll yeah, see. James Dogg is a decent hammer. For he is, but. but. It's good to see how he's come up. So quickly, just after three throws. Right? He's about, probably up about 20 feet on his third throw. For his first throw. Yeah. And it's the first time he's touched a hammer in, since he stopped four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's coming out of retirement. 102. Without boots. And what's your, what's your best? 146, is it? Well done. I'll take that, 102 with boot boots. And 112 maybe with my hammer boots. I'll be safe tomorrow. I just imagine I've gone back official. <laughs> <laughs> So we had such a good time at the show yesterday. Oh my gosh. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Um, so as you saw, there was only one other, there was only one thrower who showed up. And oh my gosh, the flies are insane. I'm gonna step a little bit far away from them because they're smelly and attracting a lot of flies. So yeah, only one uh, heavy showed up for the games part at X show yesterday so and because everyone knows Craig from his you know career that he's had doing this they were like oh you should come out you should come out and the rule is you don't you can't compete unless you're wearing a kilt and Craig didn't have his obviously because we didn't expect that and I was like I asked the guy I was like will you let him throw without his kilt and he said yeah absolutely because there's only one other guy so I was like cool let's do it so I was like great go out there now I am very impressed because I know Craig's ability I know how talented he is with the heavy events and stuff and he did so well and he only did like the two events because he we didn't really ask about it until like later on like once it had already started but he did those two events after having like seven pints of cider. So he's like half cut. He's wearing 
like fitted jeans. He's wearing brand new work boots that he's trying to break in. So there's like, you know, no give there. They're really, you know, they're brand new shoes. And without, you know, any real practice or anything. And I am so proud of him for doing that. And he did really well. You saw he like won the caber. Oh my God, these flies. Look at them though. They're so cute, aren't they? Um, yeah, so he did really, really well. And I'm so proud of him. And now he's like, he's got the bug. He's like, yep, I want to get back into it. So he's going to start practicing and throwing. He has all the implements here at the farm because this is where he normally practices. And he's gonna start doing some more games. So I'll be putting all that in my videos throughout the summer. Um, we haven't decided which ones we're going to yet. So yeah, but it's really, really exciting. And because I miss going to the games. I just love going to the games. That's how Craig and I met. It has a little special place in my heart. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. And it's gonna be good. Now, today, can you tell? Like I'm wearing a tank top. Sorry, my phone's just right there. But I'm wearing tank top, I got shorts on, and I got my sandals on. Oh, like it's a warm day. It is, and it's just 10 o'clock in the morning, you guys. And it's nice and warm. So, very happy with this weather. Yeah, I'm just gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this weekend. I had such a great time. And genuinely, I think I might upload this a little late because it is, hold on. It's Jane. Hello. Hello, and what are you doing today? Well, I'm just ending my video just now so that I can make it, but I'm thinking of not making the video today because it's so beautiful. Oh, I know. I'm sitting inside. Well, we were thinking, what if we had some outdoor eating today? Yes. Right, so that's it. Looks like we're having some outdoor eating because as you guys know, we can't say the actual name of what we're doing. But, I mean, look at this. I think we'll be fine today. But I don't dare jinx it. So, the video will be up tomorrow. Or is it? Yeah, I'll do it all tomorrow. Sorry, it's gonna be a day late, but it's just too nice of a day. I just can't waste it being inside. So. Yes, I love you guys all so much. And I am now, as I said, up to 200 subscribers. So I'm just going to say a quick little shout out to one of my subscribers. Hello, Wendy. I know that you watch my videos all the time. My parents tell me and I thank you so much for being a constant support and watching my channel. And I do miss seeing you when I go and visit. So hopefully I'll see you guys, see you next time we go out and visit. So. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day. Love you all. Bye.